What's up, Cal Gang? Today we got some vector work. It says find the vector in the parametric equation for the line that goes through 6, 0, negative 2 and is parallel to this vector. So it gives us a vector in the parametric form, and it wants us to find another one that's parallel to it but through a different point. So what are we going to need to that? Well, we know that our equation is going to be equal to, so it's going to have x naught y naught z on it, which is a point on the vector, and then a scalar of a, b, and c, or a, b, and c, are essentially a parallel vector, right? It's a vector, is what we need. So if it's parallel to this vector, we can basically just take these points and put it into our new equation, right? So what are we, what are we looking at from this information? Well, in our parametric equation form, we're gonna see that x is equal to x naught, so this is its starting point, and then a scalar of t, and then a is negative three, which is a vector, right? That's what we're looking at, the negative three, the y is equal to four, the z is equal to five, that's a vector. But basically, this vector is gonna look like this. Uh, so if you get rid of the point that it's starting at, it's just gonna look like negative three, four, five. That is a vector that we're gonna be copying. Therefore, we can go ahead and write a uh, vector equation right here. So a vector equal to, so it's our starting point, six, zero, negative two, plus t, and then our vector is what we just took, right? Negative three, four, five. That is the vector equation right there. And our parametric equation is we're basically going to be putting it back into this, but with our own points. So it's also equal to, uh, let's see, actually no, x is equal to, so it's gonna be six plus, or never mind, minus three t. Y is equal to zero plus four t. And z is equal to negative two plus five t. Bring the t over to five t. There you go. That's a parametric equation for this line. Pretty simple stuff. Um, yeah, that's how you do these kind of problems. Uh, pretty simple. So yeah, good luck on your college homework. Good luck on your count tests. Count three is a lot of fun. This is my, not my favorite unit, but you need it for the future stuff. And it actually gets pretty interesting. So just learn this stuff, get good at it, and uh, enjoy it.